Hello, welcome art friends. My name is Kylie. I'm really glad that you could join me today. In today's experience, we're going to be working with eco-food dyes and water. Our goal is to relax and keep calm. Our art goal is to play and have fun and go through a process. The art experience that you're about to do is all about the experience and playfulness. We're not worried about an end result. Now, if you're watching this and we're going too fast, all you need to do is pause, rewind. You can go at your own pace. I'm gonna walk you through the equipment and then I'm gonna show you what we're doing and then we're gonna get started together. In this experience, the equipment you will need is paper. I'm using A3 cartridge paper. Brushes, I have two brushes. The first one is a round tip brush, so it's called an around, and it's number eight. Uh, the second is a two and a half centimetre flat brush, called flat because it's flat at the end. I am using Eco Food Dye, which is non-toxic, and I have the three primary colours, yellow, red, and blue, and I've poured that into a smaller container. Um, I have the water sprayer, I've got protective gloves just in case I want to put them on my hands and I have two tubs of water and an old rag, tea towel or cloth. With all that equipment we are ready to begin. Okay so let's begin. Now I'm going to start by taking my brush and I'm going to start with the yellow food dye, uh, eco dye. The reason I'm starting with the yellow is because it's the lighter and brighter colour, but it doesn't really matter which colour you start with. So take your brush and, and I just want you to put some dri drips all over the page like this. If you want to, you can even take your brush and give it a little tap. But some nice large drips and maybe some smaller ones and then that's it. Take your brush, clean it. I like to wipe, wipe it dry. Next colour I'm going in for the red and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to drip all over the page. Again, take your brush and clean it. And with the blue, do it again. Now you can do as much or as little as you like. When your page has got uh, lots of little dots in all the three colours, take your wider brush and some water and you're just going to run the brush down the page. So I'm going to do, do one and then I'll continue on. So we go down and then I'm going to work my brush towards myself. Now you can see all the colours running into each other and you can continue all the way down or you might like to get your water spray and spray the dots.
and that's it. So what I would like you to do is to relax, make your dots, breathe through it, put on some nice relaxing music, stay nice and calm, play with your dots and then play with the water by running it over your paper. And now I'd like to do one together. So I'm just going to move this to the side and take a fresh piece of paper and you can do it with me. So take your paper and I want you to remember that when we're doing this, don't worry about anything, just let yourself go and let, just let things fall where they fall and relax and enjoy the experience. Okay, so there we have our drop and drag. So you just drop the colour, drag it across the paper and watch all the colours expand and play into each other. And you can see beautiful oranges where the yellow and the red mix and the greens emerging and purples. And you can either keep this or you can throw it away we could use this maybe for a background for another drawing activity. This now completes the experience or this part of the module. You can slow the activity down, you can play with the water, do it at your own speed and enjoy yourself and remember it doesn't matter what it, the work looks like at the end, it's all about the experience and going through the process and having fun while relaxing. So glad you could join me for this part of the module and I look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.